Hey guys, this is my dog Lucy and today's video was actually live streamed a couple of days ago. I had a session that was online with other medical students throughout the country, so I hope you enjoy. And by the way, there is a slight annoying bleeping noise that sometimes intermittently comes in and out and that's just people leaving and joining in on the video, so my apologies for that. Um, so we'll all get started in a comfortable seat here. So whatever that means for you, I'm going to sit cross-legged, but you have the option to sit on your knees or whatever feels the best. So begin to settle down in your posture here. And if you would like, I encourage you to close your eyes and begin to turn your vision inward. Start to take note of your breath. Take note of how your body feels. Be aware of your thoughts as they pass by and let them pass with no judgment. Begin to lengthen your breath. Be deliberate and slow on your inhales. And exhale all the air out of your lungs. Again, slow and deliberate in your inhales. And exhale, let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Continue this breathing throughout the entirety of a practice. If you ever find a moment where the practice is physically demanding or if you find that your thoughts are wavering, return to your breath. Gently open your eyes and we'll transition into tabletop position. So hips over your knees, shoulders over your uh, wrists. We're going to do a series of cat cows. So as you inhale, you drop your belly, gaze up to cow. And exhale, you round your back and look towards your thighs. Inhale, we gaze up. And exhale, let's round our back. some stillness in tabletop position here. We're going to walk our hands forward so that they're in front of you and you're going to sink your shoulders down. Now we're puppy pose. So your hips are going to be over your knees here and you're going to feel an opening in the front of your body. Option to set your chin or your forehead down on the mat depending on what is more comfortable for you. Let's ground down to our fingertips. Engage your shoulders here. We're not moving, but we're building a heat here. Walk your hands back to tabletop position. We'll tuck our toes and push back to downward facing dog. If you're a little newer to yoga here, in Downward Dog, your hands are shoulder width apart, your feet are hips distance apart, and if you take a peek at your feet, your heels should be behind your toes. So you really shouldn't be able to see your heels. Have equal weight through all four of your limbs. Long 
long, steady breaths here. One more breath together. Inhale. Exhale. On your inhale, we'll roll out onto plank. Holding here for a few breaths. Option to take your knees down towards the mat instead. Maybe you like to shift your body forward and back, side to side, making circles over your wrists, if that feels good. Let's all set our knees down, and we'll take our chest and chin down towards the ground as well. On an inhale, we push forward into Cobra. So elbows are by your sides, engage your low back, and keep your gaze neutral in front of you. From Cobra, we're going to walk our hands forward into Sphinx Pose. So your forearms are parallel towards each other. Ground down through your fingertips and begin to pull back with your hands as you draw your upper body forward. You won't actually move your body, rather you'll use the friction of the mat here. So create that opening in your chest and that bend in your low back. Option to gaze up. Perfect. Let's place our hands by our sides, tuck your toes, and push back to downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, let's lift our heels, bend our knees, and take our bellies towards our thighs. Take note of how that feels on your shoulders. Maybe there's more strengthening and fire in your shoulders now. Let's walk our feet to the front of the mat. Release your hands from the ground and place them in your elbows as you let your head and neck go. You can sway gently from side to side. Nod your head yes and no if that feels good. And let gravity take over your upper body. Release your hands and on an inhale, we'll roll up to standing at the front of our mat in mountain pose. Let's flow in sun salutation A. Sweep your arms up overhead, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Once more, inhale here. Exhale, let's dive forward with a flat back. Forward fold. Inhale, you halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back, and then your right. You're in plank position here, and option from your knees, as always, to lower down in chaturanga. So that's a low push up. Set your belly on the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes. Push back to down dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, lift your heels, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sweep your arms up again. And dive it forward, flat back. Halfway lift. Plant your hands, step your right foot back, and then your left.
from plank, lower down. Inhale, cobra, or up dog to take your thighs off the ground. And roll back, down dog. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, and from here, hop or step to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep your arms up, mountain pose. Hands to heart center. Arms up again. Maybe take a slight back bend. And dive it forward. Halfway lift. Plant your hands to the ground. Walk or hop back to plank. And exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. And take it back. Down dog. From downward dog here, we'll walk our feet mat distance apart. Toes will be pointed slightly in. We'll ground down through our left hand as we release our right hand and sweep it underneath. Grab a hold of your left shin, ankle, or the foot. And if it doesn't quite reach your left leg, just set it on the left side of the mat. Now look up underneath your left shoulder as you find the spinal twist here. Let's take our right hand to the front of the mat. Set it down, other side. Twist to your right. And gently release that hand to the front of your mat. Bring your feet to hips distance apart again. Inhale, lift your heels and hop or step to the front of the mat. This time we'll sink back to chair pose. So set your hips back and you should still be able to see your toes in front of you. Gaze directly ahead and a couple of options with your arms. So arms by your um, ears like so, or you can take your hands to heart center. Let's see if you can sink a little deeper here, maintaining that length in your back. And exhale, straighten your legs, fold over. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant our hands, hop or step back to plank. And let's lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing. Shifting back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend the knees, hop or step back to the front. We'll sit back in chair pose again. This time, we'll all have our hands in heart center as we twist towards the left. So take an inhale breath here, and exhale, twist towards the left, hooking the right elbow on your left knee, pushing your hands together, gazing up towards the sky. If you'd like, you can open up your arms, take your right hand to the ground, left hand up, stacking your shoulders. One more breath here. And bring your hands back to center. Let's go, other side. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Again, you can keep your hands in prayer or open them up. One more breath. And take your 
these fingers, so that's your pointer finger and middle finger, wrap them around your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold over any amount. Now, you can always keep a bend in your knees. As long as you're feeling some kind of lengthening of your hamstrings, you're doing it right. Let's release our hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And on an exhale, we'll step onto our hands. So your toes are going to be at the wrist crease here. And again, always an option to bend your knees. Inhale, lengthen your back as much as you can. And exhale, fold forward any amount. to touch at the back of your mat and inhale sweep your right leg up towards the sky keep your hips parallel towards the ground so the right hip has a tendency to pop up and just mindfully bring it down to the level of your left hip this should allow your left heel to fall a little closer towards your mat you're engaging your right glutes and right hamstring to bring that right foot a little higher Let's inhale together here and exhale. Sweep that right knee forward between your elbows, almost reaching the knee to your nose. Let's hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Step that right foot between your hands. Sweep your arms up and set that left heel down. You're in warrior one right now. So body faces the front of your mat. Hips are parallel towards the front of your mat. Your hands can be overhead or at your chest. Take your pick. Gaze forward. Letting your shoulders fall away from your ears. And let's open up warrior two. So pivot your back foot so that it's 90 degrees with your front foot. Hands are parallel towards the ground as you look over your right middle finger. So you can sink down into that right hip a bit more. Keep breathing here. Let's flip that right hand up and tilt it back, reverse warrior. It's a nice stretch on the right side of your body. Gaze up at your right tricep. One more breath, lengthen and exhale, warrior two. From warrior two, let's straighten that right knee and bring in your back foot closer a few inches. You're going to begin to tilt forward here, reaching triangle pose. 
So shoulders are stacked on top of each other. Right hand goes on the shin, ankle, or the ground. Feeling that stretch in your right inner thigh or right hamstring. And maybe bonus lengthening of your left side body. Stay long in your body and imagine that you are between two panes of glass. So try to remain in one plane here. Let's gaze down towards our right foot. Set your left hand down onto the mat. Pop your back foot forward a little bit so it feels comfortable. And we're gonna come up to standing. So your heels should be in line with each other. Left heel is pointing out 45 degrees. Let's place our hands on our hips. Inhale, lengthen your back. And exhale, fold it forward with a flat back. And when you can't fold anymore, send your hands down on the ground, wherever. Take note of the length of your breath. Let your head and neck relax down towards the earth. From here, we'll transition to warrior three. So, just hop forward, lift your left leg off the ground. Few options with hands. You can keep them on the ground at your heart or in front of you. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Let's set our hands down, hop or step back to plank, and lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Coming back. Downward facing dog. Other side. So bring your feet together to touch at the back of your mat. And inhale, sweep that left leg towards the sky, keeping your hips parallel to one another. Using the strength of the back of your left leg to bring it up a little higher. And exhale. Let's sweep that left knee forward. We'll hold here in this modified plank for five, four, three, two, one. Step that left foot between your hands. Sweep your arms up overhead, warrior one. Keep your gaze forward and neutral. And again, if there is any tension in your shoulders, be aware of that and try to let your shoulders fall away from your ears. One more breath here. And exhale, let your arms fall parallel towards the mat. Pivot your back foot so it's at 90 with the front. And gaze over your left hand. With every breath, can you find more space in your hips? And exhales allow you to sink deeper into your Let's flip that left hand up and send it back. Reverse warrior. Enjoying the left side body stretch. Bringing it back to warrior two. 
let's straighten that left knee, heel toe the back foot forward a bit, and begin to send your left hand forward, and it'll touch the ground, your shin, ankle, wherever it finds. Stack your shoulders on top of one another, gaze towards your right hand. to have your hands on your hips like we did before or you can interlace your hands behind your back like so open up your chest towards the sky and exhale let's dive it forward letting your hands fall towards the earth slowly don't force it here If you're not feeling much in your shoulders, you can try to bring your palms a little closer together. Let's release both hands towards the ground. Hop or step back to plank and take chaturanga. Exhale here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. From down dog, let's walk our feet forward and come onto our seat. So, what you're going to do is you're going to bend your right knee and you take your left foot all the way over your right thigh. And if this does not feel good for your knees, what you can do is actually just straighten that right knee altogether. So we're going to come into a seated twist. Left hand behind and inhale, sweep your right arm up. Exhale, twist towards the left, hooking the right elbow on your left knee. breath here and exhale release gently twist towards the right release other side so you can try this funky transition where you keep your feet grounded and you rotate clockwise and then you're on the other side if that was pretty confusing just bend your left knee bring your left foot towards your hip and set that right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Right hand behind, sweep the left up, and exhale, twist to the right. Gaze behind you. Visualize the twist running from your sacrum all the way up each individual vertebrae up to your neck, and extending finally to your gaze. And let's release here, taking a counter twist. Coming onto your seat. We're going to come into boat pose. So a few options for boat pose. So you want to lift your legs off the ground. Option one is to have your hands on your thighs. Option two is to have your arms out. 
and three is to straighten your legs. We'll stay here for about five breaths, so take whatever you'd like. Totally normal to be shaking here. One more breath here. And exhale, let's lower down half boat. So keep your shoulders off the mat, your feet off the mat. And again, you can keep your arms by your side or try your hands on your head or even behind you. Holding here for five, four, three, two, two, two. Okay, okay, one. You can lay all the way down. Let's come into a series of back bends here. So bring your feet towards your hips. We're starting off with bridge. You should be able to graze the backs of your heels with your fingertips. As you inhale, you bring your hips up. Imagine if you were squeezing a beach ball between your thighs. So fire through your legs there. See if you can push through your legs to bring your chest a bit closer towards your chin. Coming back to bridge again. So inhale, sweep your hips up towards the sky. And let's try interlacing our hands underneath our hips and coming up onto your shoulder blades. So while you're on your shoulder blades, you should be able to um, lift your hips up a little higher and bring your chest a bit closer towards your shin. If this doesn't work for your shoulders, you can always keep your hands just by your side. gently roll onto your back. From here, we'll take happy baby. So grab the outside edge of both feet as you roll from side to side. Let's take thread the needle here. 
So place your left foot on the ground and place your right ankle on your left thigh. If you feel a stretch in your right outer hip, you can stay here or you can begin to bring the left knee up, maybe wrapping your hands around your left shin and hugging that close to your body. intensify the stretch if you would like is while you're hugging your leg in is to try to set your hip down on the ground so you have two countering motions in your body. shoulder stand here. So bring your feet up towards the sky, roll up onto your shoulders and place your hands on your back. See if you can stack your hips on top of your shoulders here. And use this moment to slow down your breath. If you'd like, you can play with leg variations, such as letting your feet fall out towards the side. Or even just moving them around. fall over your head, coming into plow pose. The option to keep your hands on your back, or you can interlace your hands and come up onto your shoulders. And if plow pose is easily accessible for you, you can try ear pressure pose by bending both knees and letting your knees fall by your ears. hands are interlaced, let them go. We'll all place our hands down on the ground, palms facing the mat. We'll slowly roll out onto lying on our backs. So a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. If you'd like, you can take your hands up overhead, 
Point your toes, spread your fingers, inhale here. And exhale. Let's take your arms out to a T position. Bring your knees up to 90 degrees. Let's let the knees fall over towards the right side of your mat as you gaze over the left. A nice little trick is to place your right hand on your knees. So bringing the knees close towards the mat and see if you can let gravity allow your left shoulder to sink down a little bit. Enjoying this supine twist. And again, just as our seated twist, envision this motion moving from the bottom of your spine all the way up towards your gaze. Let's take the other side now. Bring your feet up to 90 and let them fall over towards the left as you gaze over your right shoulder. Option to have the left hand on your right knee. Come back up to neutral here. Set our knees out towards the side, feet together, reclined butterfly. Look over your left shoulder here and using your right hand, draw the crown of your head towards your right shoulder. So you should be looking up on the top left corner of your mat. So feeling that nice stretch in your neck as well as your inner thighs. Settling into this pose. Looking over the right side now, and again, pulling back the crown of your head so that you're looking at the top right corner of your mat. to the back of your head. Take your hands on the outside edge of your thighs to bring your knees together. Let's hug everything in nice and tight. Seal in this practice here. One inhale together and exhale. We release to Shavasana. Final rest. It's worth it.
it here to grab some extra pieces of clothing or anything else to make the next little bit comfortable. We'll remain on our mat for a couple of minutes and I'll wake us up. Let's wiggle our fingers and our toes. You can rotate your wrists and your ankles. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, let your hands fall towards the mat. And exhale, release. One more stretch, lengthen, inhale. Exhale. Roll onto either the left or the right side of your body using your bottom arm as a pillow. Taking this moment to check in on how you feel right now, both mentally and physically. Hopefully you've cultivated a sense of peace here, grounded, to take you through the rest of your day. Place your top hand on the ground and we'll all gently shift up towards a comfortable seat. Option to keep your hands closed, or sorry, your eyes closed. <laughs> We'll end our practice with three cycles of breath together. Let's inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Take this moment to thank yourself for joining me on the mat today and to extend that gratitude to everybody who shared their practice with you. Namaste.